Hey guys, in this video we're going to be installing some circuit breakers uh, as outside disconnects uh, to make this system safer. So these circuit breakers are 300 volts each and they're rated for DC. This is one circuit breaker and you can see that there's actually a copper jumper on the bottom between the two sides. And you actually are going to be connecting at the top. Uh, now th this also came with a bus bar if you were going to use this as a combiner box. I'll be doing that in the future when I get a, a charge controller. But right now I'm going to be running them in separately so I'm not adding this big bus bar at the top. Uh, so I've already got some, uh, some strain reliefs down here in the knockouts. And uh, I'm standing in the middle of the array. I got 10 panels off to one side, 10 panels to the other. So I'm right in the middle. And I left some extra copper for the grounding wire here. So I need to mount this circuit breaker box somewhere in this vicinity. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is actually take this two by six and we'll get it all mounted up. You can probably tell it's not perfectly plumbed this way. That's okay, the box, the box can be tilted, uh, I think up to like 45 degrees or something. Uh, so even if you wanted to put it on a roof, that's all right. Right, got the ground installed uh, now this is the first string going down this way and this is from the positive side you can see it down there positive so I need to take this wire and I need to get it in here and it needs to go from the solar panel to the positive side of this circuit breaker and then out the negative side of this circuit breaker is going to go to the load inside the house before I can cut this uh, I need to, because there's, there's power running through this right now, so I need to turn off the power before I cut it. I have that completely covered, and now I can disconnect it. Now there's no power. Go up to here. Let me cut it right there then. All right, so we got all the wires coming up through the strain reliefs into the circuit breakers in the right direction. So the ones marked with positive, that is from the solar panels, and then the negative is going inside to the load. And the strain reliefs are tight. The box is grounded. Let's check amps. I love this multimeter because I can actually switch it from AC amps to DC amps. So let's go ahead and check it. This is on one line, four amps, and on the other line, another four, 3.9. Awesome. So both lines are running and the uh, heater inside is drawing. The load's drawing power. Nice. If you want to pick up one of these for DC, I'll leave a link in the description below. Here's the cover, and I actually taped that bus bar to the back of it so I don't lose that. There we go. Up. Nice. So that is done. Excellent. I still have to uh, put this in conduit. Uh, a few other wires in conduit to dress them up better. So I'm going to make another video in the future of dressing up those wires. But now I got the disconnect right in the middle of the array for the two strings. Which is terrific. As you can see, the shadow from the garage is just about to cover this. What used to happen when they were all in one string as soon as this panel was shaded, the whole thing dropped almost to zero, not quite, but nearly. Now, 10 of the panels will drop off, 
but those other 10 panels on the right, they'll keep on cranking until they drop down in the shade. So I'm gonna get more sun hours, and the opposite happens in the morning. Hey, thanks for watching, and if you like these videos, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Thanks.